T-Mobile USA finally lands the iPhone in 2013. LG discusses the Nexus 4 shortages, and the Galaxy S4 takes over rumor mill again. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering if the T-Mobile girl is gonna switch to the iPhone, and this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, the Galaxy S4 has taken over rumor mill again, and apparently this time, we're getting more than just the phone in 2013. It's called Project J, and it seems that Sammy is working on bringing us an undestructible screen, which I won't believe until we give it our official pocket now test that includes my three-year-old smashing it somewhere. But we'll see if that's really true. Apparently the launch date will be in April 2013, so stay tuned. Now when it comes to the Nexus 4, we don't know what's worse. If Google ditching Samsung over LG for manufacturing or the fact that LG can't even keep up with the manufacturing process. There is too much demand according to LG UK's Andy Coughlin and they're doing their best to try to keep up because not even Google was preparing for the amount of phones that they're trying to sell. Now we do have reports of people getting a four to six week notice for the LG Nexus 4 when they order, but then they end up getting the phone like a week later. So it would be good for you to give it a try, but we can't promise you anything. That's right, our full review of the Nokia Lumia 822 is now live. This may not be the hottest phone of the year, but according to Michael Fisher, it's not actually the worst phone of the year. It's actually really good. And hey, if you're on Verizon and you want a Windows Phone 8, it's not like if you have many choices. So watch the video and tell us what you think. Now I have a confession to make. The SwiftKey keyboard is solely responsible for making me love Android years ago. Before that, in the times of gingerbread, any keyboard on any Android device was terrible. And now SwiftKey has a new beta called SwiftKey Flow, which is a new keyboard that brings the same SwiftKey functionality with the added bonus of swipe functionality, but this time in real-time text prediction like you can get an Android 4.2 in the new flavor of Jelly Bean. Now this beta is free currently, it's currently great, and if you haven't bought SwiftKey already, Already, this is an app that I do recommend you don't pass on. Just download it, buy it, no questions asked. Links in the description for you to be able to download the beta. So far we've been testing it and it is quite good. And finally, for the believe it or not news of the day, T-Mobile and Apple have just confirmed that the T-Mobile girl will be selling iPhones next year, not criticizing them. According to their report, they'll be selling Apple products next year. They weren't specific on which, but we know that. That includes the iPad and its 4G variant, and also the iPhone. Now, we don't have specific dates, but that leads me to the question of the day. Have you been waiting for an iPhone officially to come to T-Mobile? In my case, I'm not really a fan of the carrier. I know Adam loves these guys, but leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.